Welcome to Specs Profile, I'm Amy Carter. And I'm James Clements. We're here at the beautiful Detroit Opera House. Coming up, some of the funniest people in Metro Detroit. The demolition of a Detroit landmark. And yet another way the Detroit police are serving the community. All this and a closer look inside the Detroit Opera House next on Specs Profile. The Detroit Opera House welcomes over 300,000 guests each year and is the home of the Michigan Opera Theater. But originally in 1922, this facility was built as a movie theater. Come here, I want to show you something. This is an authentic movie counter back when they used to show feature films here. But if you prefer live entertainment, Detroit has some of the funniest people in town. The Second City Comedy Club has three major stages for live performance, one of them here in Metro Detroit. The Second City Comedy Club has been legendary for making satire out of any situation. With locations in Toronto, Las Vegas, LA, New York, and Metro Detroit, this has been the starting ground for many talented comedians, actors, and writers. The legacy of people that have come out of this place it's really enormous, and we said this last night in the show kind of as a joke, but you can hardly think of anyone that you think of in comedy at this point that hasn't stemmed from the plant of Second City. Ever since 1959, when the first Second City Theater opened up in Chicago, they have given us laughter by turning out some of the greatest comedic actors of our time. Mike Myers, Chris Farley, Dan Aykroyd, and Eugene Levy are only a few of the great alumni from this comedy troupe. The Second City Comedy Club has remained faithful to its original mission of theater. The live stage shows are what makes Second City Comedy Club so unique. They feature a mix of improvised and scripted scenes that are blended with ideas based on audience response and suggestion. The actors enjoy improv because you never know what might happen while on stage. The parts where you're improvising, you have no idea. You get to know what local crowds are like and how they differ. Uh, so that I look forward to in yeah. the shows. Second City Detroit is currently featuring a stage show called Best of Second City. It's a journey through many hilarious moments in Second um, City's history. We are doing a Best of Second mm -hmm. City, so both of us play numerous roles. Yeah, kind of an ensemble cast, so depending on, you know, we have 16 scenes and we'll do, you know, different pieces throughout the thing. This show is filled with hilarious takes on real life scenarios like the spoof on Gross Point Kids and The Hood. Acting's not as easy as it looks. Some have a natural talent while others endure rigorous training. The Second City offers classes at all their training centers, including the one here in Novi. Maria, who is one of the students here, shares her experience with Specs Profile. It was one of the greatest adventures I've ever had in my life was going through the uh, Second City training program and the conservatory program and um, met a great bunch of people. Like the Detroit improv scene is really nice. You don't have to pursue being an actor or a comedian to take classes, as the lead instructor the group told that us. I'm working with right now in the training center, uh, there's uh, an engineer, a waiter, a professional musician, professional students. Uh, it's all walks of life. The Second City is also known for producing television shows in the U.S. and Canada, including its most memorable Canadian production, SCTV, which starred John Candy and Rick Moranis. For great laughs and a good time, visit the Second City Comedy Club. Every month there are great events that you'll want to be part of. If interested in taking a class or coming down and seeing a show, you can call at 248-348-4448 or visit www.secondcity.com. Reporting live from Second City in Novi, I'm Mally Shelton for Specs Howard School of Broadcast Arts. I don't know about you, but I am certainly going to plan a trip to the Second City very soon. Stick around. Up next, we'll see what happens when a sports team changes venue. Welcome to life through the eyes of Nick, a world where he has been forgotten by his friends and family, a world full of heroin, cocaine, alcohol, and not to mention depression. 
If untreated, it's the number one cause of suicide, and suicide is the third leading cause of death among teenagers. Depression typically leads to self-injury. While it's not always an attempt at suicide, it can lead to death. Self-injury is a way of releasing emotion for many people and is caused in any way possible, from cutting an infection to pulling of the hair. To Write Love on Our Arms is an organization that aims to bring down those numbers and help those in need. If you or anyone you know is suffering from depression, pick up the phone and call 1-800-SUICIDE. That's 1-800-SUICIDE. Call today. Join the love movement and save someone like Nick today.